This is some serious shit. We back, YouTube. <laughs> this is serious right now. All jokes aside. Oh, what's that? White Claw? I can drink that. Today, we're going to do something by an icon. Before, before, before I even say that. Uh, hello, what's your name again? What's your it's Steph. What's up, guys? It's your favorite sipping tin smoking buddy. It's the person you want to see when you're getting your sip on, when you're getting your reaction on, when you're watching YouTube, when you're chilling, when you're doing whatever you're doing. Do it with your girl. Do it with Steph. Damn. Well, it's your boy Jay. That was hard to follow. But anyway, let's get into this. We're going to do uh, something. We're going to take it back with an icon from back in the day, a rock and roll icon, Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, baby. We're going to do something with Elvis today, not Hound Dog, not uh, whatever the hell Elvis was known for. We're going to do some other stuff by Elvis. It's called The Ghetto, one of his uh, songs that I don't think got a lot of love compared to the other songs. Uh, never heard of it. Never heard of it. I never heard of it either. People told us to do this, so we're going to check it out. I just want to know what the hell Elvis know about the ghetto, but I guess I'm about to find out. Well, Elvis probably know ghetto. Let's see, Let's see what he know about the ghetto. Mm. <laughs> Let's see Elvis, the ghetto. As a snow flies On a cold and gray Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born in the ghetto. And his mama cries. But if there's one thing that she don't need, it's another hungry mouth to feed in the ghetto. Okay, okay, Elvis, all right, I hear you. I hear you, Elvis. Well, don't you understand? The child needs a help. He'll grow to be an angry young man someday And take a look at you and me Are we too blind to see? Or do we simply turn our heads and look the other way? Right, Where the world turns And a hungry little boy with the runny nose Plays in the street as a cold wind blows in the ghetto Wipe that baby nose. <laughs> Wipe that baby nose. So he starts to roam the streets at night and he learns how to steal and he learns how to fight in the ghetto. Then one night in desperation, the young man breaks away. He buys a gun, he steals a car, he tries to run, but he don't get far, and his mama cries. Mama cries. As a crowd gathers round, an angry young man face down in the street with a gun in his hand in the ghetto. And as the young man dies. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, another little baby child is born in the ghetto. And his mama cries. Elvis, Elvis was talking that shit. He was talking. He 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 he, he know. But he said he sung something good. I like that. I like that. Had a little story to it. In the ghetto, child grows up, you know, and see all the wrong things and takes the wrong way, the wrong path, and you know, it's things like that happen in the ghetto. Real shit. All right. First off. Yeah. Um. It was a little depressing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It sounds like this child was born into poverty, um, mm. and it, it kind of took you through his life as he got older. Um, this person learned how to fight, learned how to steal to survive in this ghetto. All the wrong things. Um, and then the cops came and um, found this person or this boy, this young man, um, 
had him lying face down. He caught him doing whatever he was doing illegally, shot and killed this young person in the ghetto. And then um, the cycle continued because then he started the song over saying it's a cold Chicago morning and another child is born in the ghetto. So it's like a repeating cycle. It's over and over and over and over. Yeah. That's what I get from the beginning in the most of this song. Now, that we got that out the way, I'm going to say what he says, a child learns to fight and steal in the ghetto. Let me tell you, I was born in the ghetto. Yeah. I was raised in the ghetto. Ain't no shame to my game. Shame. And let me tell you, that's nah. where I learned to fight. That's where I learned to get my all my street skills from. Learn how to talk that shit. Learn how to survive. These are things you can't learn in no school book. Yeah. They're not gonna teach you this. This, this is, this is shit that you gotta, you got to live it, and you got to learn it. Yeah. Okay. It's nothing nobody can tell you. It's nothing you can read about. And it's nothing you can go to your public school or library to find out about. Okay. This is from experience, right? Mm -hmm. And this is true. You do learn how to get your survival tactics. You learn how to get your street fight on. No, your street, you learn, your street knowledge. And your street knowledge. Yeah. And again, this is all something that cannot be taught or brought. All right? Um, I'm just going to teach y'all and tell y'all about it. Give you a little free game. Break it, break, break it down, baby. All right? Um, free game. This is just a little bit of free game. All ghettos are not created Equal. equally. Yeah. Okay, some ghettos are worse than others. Now, I was born in a ghetto, I was raised in a ghetto, but you couldn't tell me that Florence, that's my mom. <laughs> Florence, I thought I had it all. I didn't realize I was poor. Yeah, you didn't I didn't realize, realize that. I was missing anything. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, my mom made miracles, and she made shit happen. Like, Christmas, I had shit all under the tree. I mean, yeah, I had a, somebody living on the top of me and somebody living on the bottom of me and on the right and the left of me. Yes, I did. Um, but I never wanted for anything. Oh, no. I never felt like... Um, another mouth to feed none, like that's like i said that's a whole nother ghetto when i went to jamaica that ghetto oh yeah that was that was, <laughs> was a definitely di completely yeah, different from the ghetto that i came ghetto. with because when we went to jamaica that shit that was ghetto <laughs> that was ghetto times uh uh infinity because it was just there was stuff going on over there we were like okay my ghetto i was a little lucky this ghetto right yes. here this is, this my my ghetto i different. felt like so i was another a level ghetto this like, is another level like, yeah. yeah, all ghettos are not created equally. And that's all I got to say about that. You do kind of grow up an angry person if you don't have um, a father figure or a parents or someone to help you out. Or um, I think my husband back in the day, he was involved with something called the Big Brothers Program. Yeah, I had the Big Brothers Program. Or something like that. You, you can know, tell him what that was. It was a program to help out uh, uh, single mothers uh, that didn't have uh, like the, the, the dad the around for the, for the child. And uh, my mom put me in the program, you know, that gave me a little bit of guidance. It was a, a guy that, you know, came and took me out and did things and with me. And took you to the suburbs. Took me to the, he lived in the suburbs. And, right. he, you know, he showed me a different thing because I was from the projects in the hood. You know, your boy Jay only seen crazy stuff, but he mm -hmm. took me and showed me different things, took me places. And it was a great thing. Mm -hmm. It helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I feel helped like... Helped me stay on a good path. I feel like that's, that's something that is missing from... Um, the ghetto and i'm not gonna say just from black white people was in the ghetto too i had a couple white friends that yeah. i had oh okay the ghetto was had... not just a uh, brown and black people oh man it, it, okay it, it, it was... we've i i knew a couple of of white caucasian people who grew up right next door to me went to the same school as me so the ghetto does not uh consist of any race Creed of color, okay? Creed of color. It, it just does not. It's all across the board. The ghetto okay? is mainly, no matter what the it's race is, it's poverty. poor and living in poverty. And poor. So you could be in a, uh, a Asian ghetto or a, mm -hmm. a Caucasian ghetto or an African American ghetto, ghetto whatever the matter. heck. If you're poor, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of times things happen in those uh, mm -hmm. those sections and like I said, that will be not considered all a ghetto. Equally. Yes. It's not. But the thing about it is when 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 um, Jay and I first got together, mm. we was younger. 
um, we were living in the projects. We had our children, our little children. I was pregnant and had our babies in the projects. But I always made it um, well, they didn't an realize. effort to always take them out of that habitat and show them other things yes. and show them, you know, you have to take them, you have to introduce them to other things. You have to show them this is not the norm. Um, uh, you know, if this is all you can do right now, this is all you can do right now, but you have to inspire and push yourself to do a little bit better. Okay. Mm. And I don't want them to feel like, um, this is normal. This is what it is. Uh, your girl, Steph was a teenage mother. Okay, mm. I broke that cycle with my girls. My girls are college graduates, did not get pregnant until they my got babies. married. Um, you know, I needed to break that cycle. And at some point, you have to break the cycle and you have to fight to get out of it. And everybody in the ghetto is not a bad person. Well, no. Everybody in the ghetto is not trying to fight, kill, and steal from you. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people are there because just the circumstances. Because the circumstances. All right. And they're doing what they need to do to 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 make it better. But, but uh, I could go on and on. I really dig this song. On and on. Elvis uh, showed me something. You know, I was, Elvis was wearing a one piece too. I was, he was wearing yeah, a onesie. I was ready for Hound <laughs> Dog. You know what I'm saying? You know that type of stuff. But Elvis, like, he broke it down. You know, in the ghetto. And I was like, I okay, don't know Elvis. If Elvis. Was he born in it? I don't know, know if he was born was in it again. I don't born, know about all that. Like, he could have been living in a trailer park or something. Just because he wasn't in our type of ghetto don't mean he wasn't poor and, and living in a ghetto before he got, like, a superstar. Yeah. I don't know Elvis's background or upbringing. I'm not going to assume just because he's Elvis he wasn't born or raised in the ghetto. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I didn't su assume that. I was just like, you know, I'm used to the Elvis that I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby. You know the Elvis, but when he, he relaxed and did a little bit about the ghetto, I was like, Okay, Elvis. Elvis might, I've never heard this song. He might not have a little ghetto knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Elvis might have had, you know, he might have been nice with them hands or something. Because he said he could do a little bit of karate. Elvis was like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't you know, know how much you know karate he's going to do in that one piece. But anyway, we love you guys. <laughs> don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share this video, get your sip on. Damn. Get your smoke on. Get your smoke on, baby. Whatever you do, if you're in the ghetto, if you're in the suburbs, if you're in the trailer home, if you if you're living in the car, if you're living, wherever you're in the alleyway, if you're homeless, I homeless hope not. And hope and God, well, but no, wherever no. you are, wherever you are, strive to do better. To do better, do what you need to do to do better. Yes. Don't look down on people Never who are in the projects or who are having a hard time. Because yes. guess what? We're all one paycheck away from being in that ghetto. Uh-huh. We love you guys. We love you guys. We are out. out.